To get started using your LastPass account on your desktop, you'll first need to install a browser extension from lastpass.com slash download. Here, LastPass provides ways to access all the available browser extensions for your operating system. We'll focus on the main desktop browsers, Chrome, Edge, Firefox, and Safari. Now, the process for adding the LastPass browser extension to most browsers is fairly intuitive once the website is open in the specific browser where the extension needs to be installed. However, you will want to be sure to take the LastPass extension and pin it for easy access through the LastPass icon. This process is similar between browsers after you've selected download, although Firefox has an add button to make it part of the installation process. Things get a little more complicated when it comes to Safari. Here, you'll need to install the LastPass application, which will give you access to your LastPass vault of passwords. Once you move it to applications, you can open up the LastPass app, approve it, add your credentials, and log in. Then you can go to Safari to enable it. By checking the extensions, you'll have turned it on for use in Safari. This process will automatically pin the LastPass icon. Okay, it's also good to note that if you do have an operating system with multiple browsers, there are options available on Windows and Linux for a multiple browser install. Now, to start using LastPass, you can go to your pinned LastPass icon and log in from there with your credentials. There are advanced options for both remembering your email and your password, but this isn't recommended on an unsecured desktop. Now, once you're logged in, you'll have access to search your vault for passwords to websites you can launch directly. This will both open the website as well as log you in. Other functions you'll find quickly available are a password generator, alerts available for a premium and above, and quick account access. Options you may want to set up now can be found under extension settings where you can set up logout security options should you be on a public or shared desktop. You may also want to go into your account settings and make login easier and secure through passwordless options which can be enabled using the LastPass Authenticator or by other means. Another highly recommended option under general is to create an SMS recovery option via a recovery phone. So should you ever lose your master password, this makes it much easier to recover your account. Before you begin using LastPass for passwords or autofill information, you may also want to go into your browser settings and turn off the autofill options. Chrome's put this in separate categories under Autofill where you'll need to make your changes. For Edge, you'll also need to access the settings. However, you'll find the options under Profiles, again, in separate categories. Firefox keeps access to settings in a similar location. However, you'll have to go under Privacy and Security. Once you scroll down, you'll be able to change the forms and autofill options, as well as the logins and passwords. Safari is a little different, as you need to go to the top menu under Safari and access Preferences, and then the autofill selection will be easily available to start unchecking things. And that's it for installing browser extensions and logging in. For instructions on mobile device use, please check out our information at support dot lastpass dot com